Hi there, today I'd like to go over Towns Van Zandt's great song, Tecumseh Valley. This started out as a project trying to honor Nancy Griffith as she recorded the song and she performed it a couple times with Towns. But on this I'm going back to the original recording which is from a CD called Live at the Old Quarter. On that CD it was just Towns' voice and his guitar so it was much easier to transcribe what he was playing. Taking a look at the chords for the song, you'll see that I put five measures on the first line, and that's because that's the way he phrases the first line of the song. The two measures of C kind of fill in before he jumps up to the F chord. And the same thing happens when he gets to the A minor chord at the end of the third line. That's two measures worth of filling. Towns never does take a solo on the song, so all of this picking is what he plays behind each verse. The song is played in standard tuning out of the key of C. It also is played in the Travis Finger style to where the thumb plays a bass note on every beat. Let's first break down some of the phrases so you'll have a better idea how to put the whole thing together, which we'll do towards the end. The first measure acts as a theme that runs through the entire song, and it goes like this. One and two and three and four and. For those trying to sing while you're doing this finger picking, it's a little bit tricky because he begins singing on beat two. Well, Here's the pattern he plays during the first F chord measure. Holding a simple F chord barring the first two strings. There then is a lot of back and forth between the C and F measures. I'm gonna start on the F measure. This now will be the C walking down to the A minor. So there's a new pattern once you get to the A minor to where the end of the pattern goes outside strings, thumb up on the third string, continue on into the next A minor measure, and you have the same last four notes. These are the two measures of G. So that group of four notes happens three times. Heading to the last couple measures, we now will play our F chord with the thumb over to get the bass note on the sixth string. You do not need to bar the first finger anymore, just fingers one, two, and three and the pattern will feel like what you just played on the G chord, the four notes. And starting right here, there's this little melodic run that goes like this. It's syncopated to where each of the melody notes is on the end of the beat. Ending open so you can get back to your C chord. The final measure of C goes like this. Thumb, pinch three strings, alternate bass, then the thumb hits the third string, and you're back to your theme that we opened the song with. Then you'd be back to the top, sing the next verse, and our demonstration will just end it right here. Towns was clipping along at about 140 to 145 beats per minute on the metronome. Here we'll play the entire transcription at 140. Use the YouTube settings feature to slow it down should you need it, and have a good time.